What is the real world range of the Kia EV6? My name is Bastian and welcome to Electric on Wheels. For a change, this is not the most expensive version because this is the Kia EV6 with a smaller battery pack. So that means a WLTP range of 428 kilometers. But I will not be able to reach that today because it is winter. During my tests, it is between zero and five degrees Celsius. There is barely any wind, so that is good. But this version of the Kia EV6 does not have a heat pump here in the Netherlands. No, a heat pump is not available on the smaller battery packs. And for the bigger battery pack, it is only available on the higher trim levels. Oh, I don't know why, I don't know why. And therefore, I do expect that I probably get the same conclusion as I did with the Kia EV3 that I drove last week, because here in the Netherlands, a heat pump is not available on the Kia EV3 as well. So, how will I do the test then? I will do one test while driving 100 kilometers per hour and during that test I will also calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery. Then I will do one consumption test at 130 kilometers per hour and one at 90 kilometers per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. How much energy I can get out of the battery the average consumption during those tests and boom there is your range so let's go when i left it was a bit foggy and now it is a bit rainy i didn't expect that to be honest that also means that the roads are wet and also this car has winter tires not ideal for a range test not ideal but it's going to be cold the whole week so i think it doesn't really matter when i do the test all right the average consumption, or well, the car has used 10% state of charge and under 10% I have driven around 28 to 29 kilometers. So the range it seems like right now is less than 300 kilometers for the small battery pack, the version I am driving, and less than 400 kilometers for the larger battery pack, which is not great, which is not great. What is also not so great is the average consumption at the moment, that is 21.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers yeah it's a little, tiny bit disappointing to be honest i expected a bit less i mean it is a kia i have kia very high very high but yeah again the result is not that great the consumption is slowly dropping though so that is uh well that is good and also i am driving to the west the wind is coming from the southwest so when i turn around i will have tailwind i now have headwind so that should also drop the consumption my estimation is that I will end up with a range of around 300 kilometers, which is, uh, yeah, I don't know what to think of that. I have to think about that. Yeah. Why does that car has its fog lights on? I know the weather is shitty, but it's not foggy. At least it, it looks like it's fog lights, but it probably is not. It probably is not, but they are really bright. Holy crap. Anyway, shitty weather, uh, yeah, I'd rather have some drier, colder weather than a little bit warmer in this shitty rain. But whatever, the car has used 33% state of charge and under 33% I have driven 100 kilometers. Damn, it's really bright, really bright. So that means a range of 300 kilometers. The average consumption at the moment is 20.3 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So yeah. Again, a range of 300 kilometers, it seems like right now, but I do have tailwind now because I have turned around. So I am pretty sure that the average consumption will eventually go below the 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I have hope. I have much hope. And the week before this, I drove the Kia EV3. And I do have to say, if you would ask me which car you prefer to drive, it's this car, it's a Kia EV6. It's just a little bit more sporty. The suspension is a bit more firm, a bit more feeling in the steering wheel without getting uncomfortable. But it's just, yeah, I prefer this type of car over the more comfortable Kia EV3. Although I do have to say that the Kia EV6 does not seem quieter than the EV3, even though it is a bigger car. Hmm. I'm currently doing my 90 km per hour consumption run and I think the average consumption will end up at around 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which is not bad because that is just a little bit more than the Kia EV3 and with the Kia EV3 I had better conditions because as you can see it's grey, it's cold, 1 degree Celsius, there is barely any wind so that is good but again it's cold, it's grey 
and with the Kia EV3 I had 4 degrees Celsius, a little bit warmer, blue sky, a lot of sun, so the climate control didn't have to work that hard as it has to do now. So yeah, then getting 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, I think that's pretty good for a car that is bigger than the Kia EV3. 18 kilowatt hours means a range of around 320 kilometers for the small battery pack and around 440 to 450 kilometers for the larger battery pack. I have just turned around doing my 130 kilometers per hour test and the average consumption is around 28.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Yes, there is a lot of fog as you can see, so it is a very gray and boring day, but whatever. Overall, the average consumption is a little bit higher than the Kia EV3, but not that much. And that is impressive or not bad? I don't know. Does that say something about the Kia EV3 or about the Kia EV6? I don't know again, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It is not quieter in here than the Kia EV3. It is a bigger car, so you expect it to be a little bit quieter, but it is not. It is not. Okay then, the result of the range test. As usual, I will start with my 100 km per hour test and during that test it was around 5 degrees Celsius and unfortunately there was rain even though they didn't forecast it. So, I started the test with 76% state of charge and I finished the test with 22%. So that means I have used 54%. On that 54% I have driven 159.7 kilometers, so that means a range of 296 kilometers. The average consumption was 19.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So having all these numbers means I have 59 kilowatt hours of usable capacity in the battery pack. And having that 19.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers as consumption means that if you would have the bigger battery pack, which consumes about the same according to Kia, you should have a range of 399 kilometers. So, what is my conclusion based on this? Exactly the same as the Kia EV3. This Kia EV6 that I am driving does not have a heat pump, so I cannot compare it to a EV6 with a heat pump. This one does not. And there you see the same thing. A non-heat pump is consuming around 1 to 1.5 kilowatt hours more to keep the temperature in the cabin. And I don't have it set that high. It is at 20 degrees Celsius and I do have the seat heating on where normally I have the temperature in my own car at 21 degrees Celsius. But again, to keep the temperature in the cabin, it is consuming about 1 to 1.5 kilowatt hours more than a heat pump would do. Well, and that eats in your efficiency, so it eats in your range. And also, if you take some shorter trips to heat up the cabin, you see the same thing. The car is pulling 4 to 5, around 5 kilowatts um, initially to heat up the cabin. It will slowly ramp down to 1.5 to 2 kilowatts, but that takes around 20 to 25 minutes. So if you do a lot of short trips, around 20, 25 minutes, the consumption of the Kia EV6 in winter without a heat pump is not good. And also just regularly, if you don't have a heat pump, it's not great. I mean, 19.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. It's not insanely terrible, but it is not great either, if you ask me. Then the result of the 90 test, there it was one degree Celsius and barely any wind. There I had an average consumption of 17.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers, which means a range of 333 kilometers for the smaller battery pack and the bigger battery pack 446 kilometers. So do I think you can reach the WLTP range? Well, in the winter you cannot. Even if you have a heat pump, you will not reach it. But in spring summer, if we take that 17.7 kilowatt hours, we subtract around 1 to 1.5 kilowatt hours because that is how much in air conditioning is consuming less than the non heat pump at the moment. Then you sit at around 16 kilowatt hours. This car has winter tires. In summer, you have summer tires. Uh, in summer, the car is more efficient anyway. I mean, that is just the way it is. So yeah, if you take all those things into account, I do think that you can reach the WLTP range with the Kia EV6 in spring or summer. And that is my conclusion of that. Then my result of the 130 kilometers per hour test, there it was also one degree Celsius. 
There was the average consumption 28.7 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So that means a range of 206 kilometers for the smaller battery pack, which isn't that much. And for the bigger battery pack, 275 kilometers. In spring, summer, with the smaller battery pack, I think you can get around 250 kilometers. For the larger battery pack, more than 300, easy. All right, well, that was the conclusion, actually. Thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. And then as always, to be continued.